Hey, hello guys. Uh, this is Jeff. Just bringing you a video on the Cleric Pain Train to let you know how it should be done. Um, this is just a pretty straightforward run. We've got two rogues, two control wizards, and a cleric. It doesn't really matter your composition uh, for the last boss fight for this one, but you don't really need a guardian fighter or a great weapon fighter or to exploit spires to kill this boss with relative ease. Um, pretty much what the cleric is going to do is he's going to grab aggro when the mobs want to go ahead and um, start appearing. He's just going to tag them all and run them back and forth. And everyone else is going to burn the boss. Um, gear, pretty straightforward. Run in. Always try and put natural seal on the boss if you can so your melee can heal up while they're hitting them. Um, and you're ranged as well. And as the mobs appear, just kind of tag them with uh, either Brand of the Sun, Lance of Faith, or whatever it is that you use. And um, keep moving at this point. So right now you grab five mobs pretty much right in the beginning. The rhyme fires are the ones that are the most important, and your team should not be using any type of AoE. So um, they're single target, completely focused on the boss, Raven Field, and um, whatever else. And you're just going to kind of run back and forth. Um, you can keep your divinity up by doing sunbursts and by putting Brand of the Suns on everything. And everyone wants to all lay down a shield, kind of kite around the shield a little bit so that you're not taking a ton of damage. Um, and you can heal up while you're in there standard stuff. Um, you'll just run back and forth, try and keep the pain train away from your team, and you can drop divine armor like I did a second ago to give yourself a couple of extra hit points while you're uh, while you're going around. As you see mobs appearing up front, you can kind of see that I'm looking forward and trying to tag them immediately so that they don't stand on the boss and create problems for your rogues because they're pretty disruptive in this fight if they, uh, if they latch onto a melee character. Um, save your stamina uh, as much as you can for times that you're standing in red and you don't have enough time to run away or you just did a move that forced you to stand still for a little bit. Um, otherwise you can see you can pretty much run back and forth. Um, you'll pretty much have uh, a lot of time just to run east and west and once every other time you'll have enough probably to drop an astral shield and stand in the shield. So obviously things get a little hairy sometimes with the spires but always try and keep your eye toward the front so you can tag mobs like this and when you get an opportunity just continue to throw astral seals on the boss so the rest of your team doesn't suffer now here you can see my health is a little low which happens sometimes uh, just because you're taking a ton of hits from the archers drop a forge master flame on one of them dash ahead and then stand next to him for a little bit to, red, uh, to heal up um, here i get pretty much annihilated <laughs> and you just drop a shield you can recover just don't panic um, just use your whole shield, you know, temporary hit points, sunburst to heal up. You still have a Forge Master Flame if you need it, but it turns out that you won't most of the time. If you start getting in a bad position, you can see that your mage can just break off for a second and kill a couple of the archers, because they hit for around like 1300 a pop, which is pretty brutal for a normal mob and to be ranged and unkiteable. So, you can see, I'm pretty much always looking toward the boss to grab mobs as they come up, because Again, while they're up there, your rogues can't DPS effectively. So, and then if someone accidentally tags them, it's really, really frustrating to try and get aggro off of them. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can see, even though I got really low on health for a period there, I didn't have to use a potion to recover. I just, uh, I pretty much just stuck with the game plan, ran away, um, healed up, and and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So, boss is pretty much dead. Um, this is a real easy way to kind of finish up uh, this instance without having to bring a uh, guardian fighter, a great weapon fighter, or when the spires are no longer available. At this point, normally I'd run them to the door so that I could pull them away from the chest, but we're not in a DD, so I'm not doing that. We just finish up right here. Anyway, guys, this is a cleric. Um, pretty straightforward. I hope it was helpful. Thanks, guys.